Welcome to another episode of Positive Leadership. I'm your host, Dr. Dave Martin. And today we're going to talk about probably one of the most important topics in all of leadership. What is that topic, you might say? Simply this, motivation. Motivation is the key to your most significant achievements. Do you want to change your life? Find your mojo. It will drive you to greatness. If you want to achieve great things in your life, you have to find the right motivation, the right mojo, the right internal motivation. Most real great achievements in life don't come by accident. They are often fueled by months and years of discipline, along with just a lot of plain hard work. But discipline and hard work won't come without the right motivation. We look up a lot to celebrities, and we often seek to emulate them. But interview after interview with most of these celebrities reveals the same thing. They were all motivated to make the sacrifices needed to become great at their craft. Piano virtuosos tell the same story. Their fame didn't come until they put years and years of practice needed to rise to the top of their profession. Our elite sports athletes tell us the same stories. Tom Brady, arguably the best U.S. National Football League player of all time, was not seen as a particularly gifted athlete when he started playing for the University of Michigan football team. But he was motivated, internally motivated, to become the best player that he could be and was willing to put in the work to make his dream a reality. Well, we can't all be celebrities or star athletes, but we all have the capacity within us to accomplish greater things than we ever thought possible. It all starts with finding the right motivation. We need to find our why, as Simon Sinek would say, and then we need to nourish it. Before you can rise to the challenge of significant achievements, you have got to have a solid mojo. Why do you want to reach a specific goal? What are you trying to achieve? What drives you? The motivation has to be strong, or you won't get through those first significant obstacles that you face. Achieving great things will require you to persevere and break through these obstacles, and the obstacles will come. So what's a good motivator? Oh, I just need to lose 10 pounds to look better in this dress. That might work during the time it takes to lose 10 pounds, but when you get there, chances are you'll stop doing whatever you're doing and the weight will come right back and even bring a few friends with it. Oh, if I study and get this certification, it might lead to a better position. Well, unless you're strongly motivated to find that better position, chances are the first time you fail the first certification test, you'll quit. No, nope. your motivation must be stronger than that. Strong motivation starts with a strong sense of dissatisfaction. In studying the lives of great people, I've read a lot about Abraham Lincoln. One item that stands out in young Abe's life was how strongly dissatisfied he was with his position in early life. You see, Abe grew up working on his father's farm and received meager wages. By the time he was 18, he had moved away deeply dissatisfied with his position in life and determined to make his life better. He had found his mojo. This is a common thread through the lives of great leaders. Martin Luther King's dream came from a place of deep dissatisfaction with the existing racial conditions in the South. He was determined to change it and called others to action. John Kennedy was dissatisfied with where America was in the space race and his call to action inspired us to land a man on the moon. In my own life, all of my accomplishments started with a sense of deep dissatisfaction. After I retired from the military, I went on to a successful career in information technology because I was dissatisfied with my job as a logistics analyst. Neither one of the previous situations was inherently bad, but I was unhappy with the positions and knew that I could do more. I had developed the right mojo and was successful in these endeavors. Perhaps the most difficult challenges in my life so far was getting my Ph.D. and losing over 140 pounds. My Ph.D. in information technology was a long, hard road. I started when I was 53 years old. It took six years to achieve, and I did it while being employed full-time in the IT field. I had about 18 months of setbacks during the dissertation phase of the Ph.D., and at one point, I developed a case of walking pneumonia because I was working 12-hour days while pulling down two courses, a mistake that I did not repeat. But in spite of all the setbacks, 
I walked across the stage in 2013 in Long Beach, California to receive my diploma. I had to dig deep and reach for that internal mojo several times during the entire process. Well, as hard as the PhD was, it paled in comparison to my next achievement, which was to lose 140 pounds. Shortly after I received my PhD in 2013, I was involved in a very serious cycling accident that almost took my life. I became focused on recovering from my severe injuries and I wasn't concerned at all about my weight. Over the next four years, my lack of exercise and my almost total disregard for my diet caused my weight to balloon to a, yeah, I'm embarrassed to say it, 348 pounds. I was so heavy that I couldn't walk more than 100 yards without having to stop and rest. My blood pressure had skyrocketed to over 200 over 100, and as my wife would later say, I was just waiting for you to have a heart attack or a stroke. My body had become a ticking time bomb. Well, along with my increase in weight and lack of exercise, I began to neglect my personal hygiene. I knew my weight was out of control, but until I was called out by my direct supervisor, I had no idea of how others perceived my weight and personal hygiene. I didn't get mad at the boss for calling me out. Frankly, I was very embarrassed. Well, I changed my hygiene habits immediately. The weight was another issue. It took a medical scare that landed me in the emergency room with symptoms of a heart attack that solidified my motivation. So I had found my motivation. Now, I needed to find a lifestyle change program that would help me lose weight. Fortunately, some colleagues of mine introduced me to a lifestyle program called Habits of Health. I'm not going to reveal the name of the company, but if you're interested, just Google Habits of Health. You'll find it. And the person that was turning me on to this said, look, Dave, I've tried every other program in the book, but this is the first program I could stick with for more than a couple of weeks. Well, she had me hooked. Was the program hard? Oh, yeah. The first couple of weeks was really hard. I was hungry all the time. The program is a nutritionally correct but calorie-restrictive program that reduces your food intake and virtually eliminates all processed sugar and processed carbs from your diet. Oh, it was hard to break my sugar addiction. It was even harder because I often had to pass a table of sugary treats several times a day at my office. But I stuck with it because I had found the right motivation, the right mojo. Now, this is going to sound unbelievable, but the first week I lost 19 pounds, and I was ecstatic. Now, the next couple of weeks I, I had weight losses of 5 to 10 pounds a week, and I was on a roll. And then by the end of the first year, I had lost almost 100 pounds. Well, I was going to stop after a year, but by then I found I couldn't go back to my old eating habits. It seemed like I was sort of on autopilot. I was on an autopilot that was fueled by my mojo, a mojo that had me down to over 140 pounds. Unfortunately, I have gained some of it back, but I'm going to go back on that same diet because I have that same mojo. All right. I'm convinced that the key to accomplishing great things in life is to find the right internal motivation. This is usually driven by a sense of deep dissatisfaction coupled with a strong sense of knowing that you can achieve anything given the right mindset. Hundreds, no, thousands of celebrities and athletes have done it. People from all walks of life have done extraordinary things, achievements that they did not even think were possible. Yet when they found the right internal motivation, their mojo gave them the discipline and the perseverance to accomplish greatness. So I'm going to leave you with this question. Do you want to achieve great things in your life? You don't have to be a superstar. And you don't have to be a celebrity. You don't have to be a world-class athlete to achieve greatness. It starts with finding a strong sense of motivation. Find the right mojo and you will find the inner strength to discipline yourself for meeting the challenges before you. Find the right mojo, and you will achieve more than you could ever dream possible. Finding the right motivation will change your life.